Okay, so today I wanted to make a video about the Nothing Phone 2. There is a software update, I think it's called the Nothing OS 2.5.5, and there are some interesting things, which I haven't read myself, so I wanted to do the first reading right here in the camera. So without any further delays, let's just take a look at the software and update my Nothing Phone 2 to the latest software version. So let's go to settings to see what it is. I'm gonna have to do this behind the camera, so do bear with me. We're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and hit system, and once you hit the system, up top there is system update and you can see that there is nothing OS 2.5.5 which brings in the chat GPT integration. This is the biggest thing with this 2.5.5 update. There was an announcement with the nothing ear and the nothing ear A that there is going to be chat GPT integration in those earbuds as well and it also brings those integration to the nothing devices. Firstly it's going to come with the nothing phone 2 followed by the nothing phone 2A and the nothing phone 1. So if you have a nothing phone 1 or the Nothing Phone 2A, you can expect sooner or later the software version 2.5.5, which brings in this ChatGPT integration. So you're not gonna miss out. So let's go and read the entire thing. You can pause and go through it yourself, but because I haven't read it, I'm gonna go through this one as well. You can choose to skip, so let's just begin. So it says ChatGPT integration. The following features are available with the latest ChatGPT version install from the Play Store. Added a new gesture option in Nothing X to start a voice conversation with ChatGPT for Nothing Ear and Nothing Ear A. Coming soon to our other audio products. Added new ChatGPT widgets to launch ChatGPT in different modes from your home screen for quicker access. Added a button on the screenshot and clipboard pop-up to directly paste the content to a new conversation in ChatGPT. There are more features. The only ChatGPT features are those up here. And there are more features which are camera now supports Ultra XDR to set head to camera settings and then Ultra XDR. Within the camera app, photo and portrait modes now features an HDR switch. Activate or deactivate via the settings at the top. Added RAM boost feature to set head to settings, system, and RAM booster. Added a ring mode option in quick settings for easier sound management. Added a new recorder widget for effortless audio recording on the go. Introduced a new battery widget to monitor power usage more efficiently. Added glyph interface debug mode to developer options. And there are some improvements as well. So the improvements are enhanced system security, enhanced system stability, NFC functionality, and Wi-Fi connection stability. Optimized animation for smoother widget and app openings. Improved response speed when setting Bluetooth in quick settings, optimized volume settings to make interactions more intuitive, improved clarity of album cover display in the music player widget, fixed experience issues when switching SIM cards with the data during call feature enabled, resolve flickering when launching apps from quick settings on the lock screen, resolve flickering issues on the AOD interface which is the always on display, address the disappearance of the lock screen widgets after ending screen share in certain scenarios, address abnormal lock screen wallpaper display when swiping to unlock is interrupted, fixed a widget Widget display issue which showed Bluetooth as being off when a watch was connected. Resolve frequent refreshing and flickering when setting Wi-Fi in the quick settings widget. Other bug fixes and performance enhancements. So the update size is no more than 206 MB. And this brings quite a lot to be honest. And the main highlight here is the ChatGPT integration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download and then I'm gonna install. And once that is done, I really want to try it out for myself. The one thing that I do hate with the nothing devices is that the downloading of the software is not the main problem because that is completely fine but the installation of the downloaded software that takes a long long time I have used my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the downloading and the updating using the downloaded package does not take that long but with the nothing devices even in my nothing phone 1 and the nothing phone 2 because I do have my nothing phone 1 right here as you can see I have faced issues where downloading is never an issue it's just that installing takes a long long time even for something that's only say 206 MB or even 64 MB MB in the past software updates, it was taking more than 15, 20 minutes to install. Whereas in the Samsung devices, more recently, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, even when I had to download and install a 1.2 GB software, it was very much smoother and very much faster. Did not take more than five minutes. I think it was less than five minutes. So I think, you know, in the future when nothing is releasing a software update for the nothing devices, more specifically their phones, they should also focus more so towards the improving the performance of the installation of the software on the phones. And there's a reason that this ChatGPT integration coming to the Nothing Phone 2 and the other Nothing Phones as well excites me a lot because I use ChatGPT on a daily basis for pretty much everything. Ever since ChatGPT was made available to the public, that has completely replaced Google for me because at least in my case, if I want to search something, I would rather go and search it on ChatGPT. And the main reason for that is I can do that in Google. Yes, no doubt. But when I do it in Google, then it gives me multiple options, multiple links to click on. Then I need to, you know, search myself. So that takes a long time. But 
with ChatGPT, if I ask it correctly, it's going to give me exactly what I need to know. So that's a little bit quicker, a little bit faster and more efficient for me, which is why when I saw that the ChatGPT integration is coming with the Nothing OS 2.5.5, I got very excited and I really wanted to try it for myself and see how this will aid me in my day to day. So this is the part that I mentioned before that takes a long time, no matter how small the software update is or no matter how big the software update is. This takes more than 15, 20 minutes, or at least that has been my experience with the Nothing Phone 1. And that has also been my experience with the Nothing Phone 2. Every other phone, whether it be iPhone, whether it be Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or my Fold 4 or my S23 Ultra, every time the software has been downloaded, yes, Samsung also does the optimization for the apps after it's been downloaded and installed, but it's far quicker than Nothing Phones. But to be honest, in this video, I just wanted to talk about the Nothing OS 2.5.5 and what comes with that software in your Nothing devices. So now you know, if you haven't already upgraded, go to your software update settings in the Nothing phone and see if you have the software update. If you do not, don't be too shocked if you don't see it on your device because Nothing slowly, you know, like rolls these updates out. So although you may not have it today, you might be getting it tomorrow or the next week. It will come, so just be patient. Since that's all there is to this software update, I'm gonna leave the video right here. After this is all installed on my Nothing phone too, I'm gonna use it and then I might make a follow-up video as to how this is, how do I use it and all that sort of stuff in the future video. So thank you for watching this video this far. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Till then, peace.